Mount Auburn Cemetery is known for its lush landscapes, bird watching, and of course, its buried occupants. It's also a place where scientists hope a tiny creature could help cut carbon emissions. This is probably uh, about two years old. Meet the eastern redback salamander. Topping out at two to four inches long, its size obscures its authority and its voracious appetite. He's pretty adorable, and it's really funny to think that he's a top-level predator. Right, right. <laughs> yes, yeah, like the wolves of the forest floor, I like to call them. <laughs> One salamander eats about 20 bugs a day, and ecologist Brooks Matthewson is hoping its population will balance the ecosystem. And now we're going to go release this and his six friends into the, uh, into the woodland, and hopefully they'll start to breed and, and maintain their own population. And their taste for bugs could be significant in reducing how much carbon is released into the air. The trees are absorbing the carbon dioxide, and then when they lose their leaves, th those leaves still have a lot of that carbon in them. And we want that carbon to get slowly released back into the soil. Two to three times as much carbon is stored in the soil as in the trees above them. But when bugs and beetles chow down on the leaves at high speed, that carbon is rapidly released into the atmosphere. So this is sort of mimicking coarse woody debris, so it's mimicking what, a, what their habitat would be under a log or rock. But when you bring the eastern redback salamanders into the picture, they slow the decomposition rate by preying on the bugs. So we're going to go and we're going to take the salamander and we're just going to release it right by one of the cover boards and we're going to make notes of where he was released. These amphibians are crucial in keeping carbon in the soil. And we'll just lift it up to see if anything is under there now. And there's no salamanders here presently. No tenants. No tenants of the cover board. So we will, we will release it right here. Since the fall of 2017, Mathewson has released about 80 redback sure salamanders under the cover boards. It's part of a larger project to restore native plants and creatures in the cemetery. Mathewson says this salamander is integral in maintaining a healthy forest, which is important for humans too. About 15% of the carbon that we emit now as humans in the United States is absorbed by forests. And a big component of this is keeping carbon in the soil and not having it go back into the atmosphere. And while unleashing an army of redback salamanders may not save the planet, keeping the forests healthy and intact is a step in the right direction. Christina Quinn joins me now. You're usually a show-and-tell kind of person. Where's the salamander? I actually asked if I could bring one in, but he doesn't really have them on hand. He has Very to forage for them. No excuses. <laughs> Where else do you find the red-back salamander? So they are in any healthy New England forest. They're actually the most abundant. So you, you should be able to find them if you really go digging. Are they amphibians? I don't want to embarrass they them. They are amphibians. Are. So, uh, uh, how are they different? in this one particularly important way from other amphibians? So most amphibians have to lay their eggs in water. And these guys, they are the only ones in Massachusetts who lay their eggs on land. So they actually don't need to, they can really roam the forest floor um, and lay their eggs wherever they please. This cemetery is one of the most beautiful places, it by the really way, is. on the planet mm -hmm. for so many kinds of purposes. Are they restoring other species? Yes. There or no? Like what? So the yellow spotted salamander, um, a couple frogs, some toads. It's it's really, it's quite, it's a, a wildlife oasis over there. But the red back salamander is the one that's doing the carbon it's dioxide It's the one that deal. is, yes, because it's the most abundant and has this incredibly voracious appetite. Yes. Pretty exciting. Christina Quinn, nice to see you. Good Thanks to see so you. much for your report.